You wanna know what's going on in the Florida real estate market? Well, on this video, we're bringing you market stats, values, timeframes, and prices. Today, I'm going over the November 2021 monthly real estate market report, right here, Southwest Florida. Let's jump right into the report. Stay tuned. What's up, everybody? I'm Rob Wozner, a local realtor here in Southwest Florida. If this is your first time on my channel and you want to know everything about eating, sleeping, working, playing, and the real estate market, this is the channel you need to subscribe to. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the bell so you're notified every time I drop a new video. The Naples lifestyle continues to fuel demand. Preseason buyers descended on the Naples area and the real estate market in November, pushing the area's overall inventory down. 76.1% to 1,198 homes from 5,006 homes at the same time in November of 2020. Demand for the Naples lifestyle during November also influenced the median close price, which increased 31.3% to 499,000 from 380,000 in November of 2020. Broker analytics predict buyer demand to continue as homeowners in northern states seek lifestyles with fewer COVID-19 restrictions and international buyers are seeking investments in the U.S. real estate market. The Naples area had a total of 910 closed sales to end the month. Home prices generally have continued to increase as mortgage rates have been relatively flat in recent months. However, the Federal Reserve shift to a more hawkish policy in terms of combating inflation is expected to start pushing rates higher in the upcoming months, which should cause home price growth to moderate. Realtors across the Naples area are working harder than ever to find homes for clients as indicated by the 31,291 showings in November and 70% decrease in days on the market to 24 days until pending from 80 days. Although the overall median close price continues to rise due to the tight inventory in November, it should be noted that in the last 12 months ending November 2021, 57% of the closed sales in Naples were homes that were priced below $500,000. No surprise, we've had strong pending sales for the past few months, but those are beginning to wane now that we've reached the priority of this situation. The variance in new listings this November versus last November is related to closed sales because the market is trying to find the right balance. The problem is that new listings can't carry all the demand by itself. The entire state of Florida has had significant volume of home sale. The sales we've been experiencing continued to keep inventories levels low in November, however. As of the end of the month, single family home inventory was down by over 31% compared to a year ago, while condo and townhouse inventory was down by close to 56%. It's primarily the huge rate of sales and not the lack of new listings coming on the market that have kept inventory levels so low. In fact, year to date, there have been almost 4% more single family homes and 7% more condos and townhouses listed for sale in 2021 than by this time in 2019, which was before the pandemic. These homes are simply selling so quickly that many potential buyers never had a chance to consider them. New listings in November fell 22.9% to 958 homes from 1,242 in November of 2020. The lack of inventory will become a challenge for realtors in 2022 as demand is expected to remain steady with no inventory surplus expected. Year over year business growth like we saw last year is just not feasible in today's market. But our issue is exactly what is happening in industries are facing all over the country, which is supply. We are simply becoming the store that is selling out of its inventory. I have been in talk with some of the major home builders in the area and they are facing similar obstacles with lack of building supplies in the area. As such, a backlog of newly constructed homes likely means we will not see new home inventory rise to assist with the demand of buyers anytime soon. As demand continues to outpace supply, I expect to work harder in 2022 to stay on top of new listings because I will need to help guide my clients through the negotiation process in hours, not just days. If you're a buyer and expect to find a home that fits your needs without a realtor, you're gonna be looking for a long time. New listings today barely make the MLS without already having a contract. An experienced agent knows the market well and will help you maneuver and negotiate fast. 
If you are looking to purchase a home, a lot of the work to get you into a new home right now needs to be done before your home is even available. For example, understanding your cash sale limits, helping you get pre-approved for financing, and discussing what contingencies you might expect and what liabilities you may incur. It's a seller's market out there, so your agent needs to coach buyers on the readiness of the home buying process in today's real estate market. Working with a realtor is equally important for sellers because realtors have the experience and resources necessary to find greater opportunities out in the open market. There are enough people looking for homes in Naples today that will pay full list price if they know it is priced properly. Believe it or not, our area is still considered undervalued compared to many other desirable markets across America. So waiting for prices to drop on a Naples home is not a good strategy for home buyers. I also want to point out that for the first time since the Naples Area Board of Realtors recorded market data, the overall percent of current list price received for condominiums exceeded 100% in November. The median close price for condominiums in November was $375,000 compared to $622,000 for a single family home. This level of affordability might account for condominium inventory decreasing 85% during November compared to a 65% decrease in single family home inventory. Thank you once again for watching my monthly real estate market report. If you're even thinking about making move here to Southwest Florida, you need to take the first step. Give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, however you want to get in touch with me. We have so many people calling us to help them and I absolutely love it. I have developed a system to make the process super easy and stress-free and give you the best experience possible. And remember, I have your back when buying or selling property, Southwest Florida. We have so many people calling to help and I absolutely love it. So if you're in thinking about it, make sure you reach out to me today. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.